Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates body and brain into the real world. Here we are in the kitchen again, and we're going to be talking about some strategies for washing the dishes. All right, we're talking about body mechanics again and posture. So another stretch that I really love to do when I'm in the kitchen before I start to wash the dishes or empty the dishwasher, etc., etc., is a little bit of a stretch through the armpits in the chest. And yes, I get a few strange looks from my family when they see me doing this, but it really, really helps. And it's one of those things, you know, we don't always have that hour or hour and a half or two hours to go into the studio or go into the gym or even to go outside and walk around. So you have to get it when you can, like when you're in the kitchen. So here we go. What I like to do is to get a, a clean dish towel or towel and set it here right on the corner of the counter. And then I'm gonna put my, the, the bottom portion of my upper arm bone right here on the counter. I'm gonna rest my forehead on the towel, right? So I kind of hook the skin of my forehead, dragging it down towards my nose. And my legs can be hip distance or they can be a little bit more apart. And then I'm just trying to drop down into my armpits. And then I can do this little kneading side to side. Mm, it feels so good in the mid back, opens the chest. And then I'm ready to do my tasks in the kitchen. So washing the dishes, this is what I like to think about. Um, the bikini line abdominal, the flattening seat belt, um, corset muscle here on the front of your pelvis. So the front of the counter really helps to cue me, it helps to remind me to, to use my breath and to try to take the tissue of my belly away from the kitchen, the, the sink counter here while I'm washing the dishes. So as I'm washing the dishes, I'm thinking about easy shoulders, easy breastbone, and then I bring myself, you know, all the way touching the counter so I can really cue my tissue to move up and away from the counter, like a big smile across the, the front of the pelvis. And then I'm also thinking about the soles of my feet, easy knees, easy ankles, easy hip sockets, imagining that my upper inner thighs could just kind of fly to the back wall and keeping my sitting bones nice and open. So I have this really nice easiness and buoyancy through pelvis, hips, knees, and ankles. And I can even kind of sway back and forth as I'm doing this, um, easing my lower back, easing my sacrum, which is really nice. I think what most of us tend to do, especially when we're not thinking about it and we're, when we're in a hurry, we get really rigid around the pelvis and sacrum and kind of lock out our knees and hunch our shoulders and there's no need, right? So you want to practice being really mindful as you go through these daily tasks. And if you're paying attention to all these habitual things that we're doing during the day, walking, from the car and back from the car and washing the dishes and unloading the dishwasher and folding laundry and just trying more and more to refine having better body mechanics, then that is what's gonna create an easier body. It's not the two hours uh, um, each week that you go into the studio, it's actually bringing the studio into your real life and infusing that trying to infuse that at every moment. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. You can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. Where we bring our Pilates bodies and brains. Okay.